It's not ready for me. It's not ready for you. What's this thing saying? All right. I think it's finally getting it's on there. It's not ready for me. Oh. Not ready for you. I am on there. Hold on. You. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Make sure to lower your volume, Josh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I know it's been a good minute. Have you missed me? Come on. Tell me something. What's up, Aiden? No. Tatted, they they missed me, Josh. Dino, how you doing? Tony, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Jessica. What, how come what's up, Chris? Oh, I like that. You know what? I'm blacklisting her. Hey, I'm the star already. I'm telling you. Traveling fisherman, what's going on, Jason? Ah, Chris, what's up, buddy? So, guys, I'm going to do something cool. I appreciate that, Aiden. Um, doing a giveaway tonight. Three lucky winners. This is how it's going to work. I'm asking all of our fans, uh, people who bought, customers who bought shirts from us, or whoever just likes the YouTube content or Instagram content, leave us a review on Google. Now, you have to do this, obviously, before we disconnect here. That's the link. It's very long, so please forgive me. Anyone who does a review, there's going to be three gifts that's given out tonight. I'm going to place your name on this little piece of paper. It's going to go in this little bin, and I'm going to live draw you. Uh, at the end. Do it. And of course, we'll mention this a few times. But in the meantime, we're going to go and make sure you give me a nice good rating, guys. I do a lot of work for you guys. You got to be, be nice. So what's up, Chris? What do you want to talk about this evening? What's up, Josh? Hey, guys, make sure to go leave a review over there on Google so you can, uh, your name will be put into the drawing. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk about, what are we talking about? All right. Go ahead. Me and Chris have talked about what we're going to do is just we're going to talk about the best Christmas, well, the best fishing products that you have that have been beneficial to you. This isn't a plug. This is just something we want to hear that you have to offer or what you think is one of the best uh, items that you've used. And then we're going to suggest some of the things that we are really big fans of that's helped us in the fishing game. So what is the one thing, Chris, that has really helped you? Uh, you know, one product that comes to mind? Uh, absolutely pliers, period. I know we already talked about that, but I would say pliers because they're going to be useful for anything, whether it comes to cinching down a knot on your hook when you're having a hard time doing that, especially with a bigger leader. But uh, also cutting line and doing all types of things like getting the, the hook out of the fish's mouth. So I would say pliers. Hey, How about yourself? Guy, this guy's going to pick the easiest thing in the world. But that is the most useful thing when you go fishing. What would you say is more useful? It is one of the most useful things. Um, but before I go into that, I want to say what's up, Ricky, uh, KH Fishing, Anthony, what's going on? Brett, hey, you're welcome, buddy. What did you think about that PC Fun bag, man? I use mine all the time. I really do love that bag. Um, what's up, Marcus, Victor? All right. So Jessica says nail clippers, guys. How do you do the review, Tony? You go to the link, write the reviews. Give me five stars if you would. Five stars. I'll be following it, guys. As they come in, I'm going to be putting your name on here. Traveling Fisherman, you've already done it. Rick, you've already done it. I'm going to put your name in the bag right now. Hey, no doubt about that. But while he's doing that, guys, make sure to go leave a review. No four stars. You will be disqualified from the giveaway. <laughs> That's messed up. Robert, there's your name, man. I know you've already done it. In the basket you go. All right. I know we got a few more that's coming in. Chris, what's another one, uh, a product that has really helped you in the grand scheme of things? Your computer. My computer. When it comes to fishing, I mean, you made a video a long time ago. I remember I watched it before we were even friends about having – to find, you know, new spots on Google Earth. That's a great way to find new fishing spots for your computer. And obviously everybody's already on YouTube, so they're looking up fishing videos. So that's giving them knowledge to apply to the real world. Wow. That, you're spot on with that. Um, technology, guys, has really allowed us to um, – to ramp things up. I mean, obviously it's increased a lot more pressure for the fish and sometimes it makes them more difficult to catch, but technology has helped us in many ways. I want to say Darian, 
I got your review, buddy. There's your name in the bucket you just went. Thank you, sir. Jessica, oh. you did not leave a good enough review. <laughs> oh, Jessica. How to do it, Frightful. Uh, click the link. I'm going to keep posting this link here periodically. It's a long link. If you click it, you can rate us from there, guys. Popping cork is actually one of my favorite ways to fish for redfish when I'm using live shrimp and snook, uh, for that matter. So I do agree. Popping cork is very, very good. Um, Aiden, all right, buddy. You left a review. I'll throw you in the bucket. There you go. So hey, guys, up? we do appreciate all the reviews that are coming in, by the way. Absolutely. Go ahead, Josh. We do. One of the new tools that I wanted to run by you guys that I really, really like, and I mean really like, is this baby right here. This little boomerang tool. I got like 10 of them now. I bought one or two, and now I feel like I need them everywhere. I just hook them to my pants it just all the time now. I mean, it don't matter if I'm just going out of the house. It's almost like your pocket knife. You almost just want to have it with you. But they're super sharp. They'll cut braid. And mono, even 150, 200 pound mono, like it's nothing. Chris can attest to that. He cut cut into some 300 pound mono the other night. Hey, another thing about what Josh has been talking about for a month, guys, at how much he loves these little snippers. <laughs> it's it's so I can good. I can say that they do cut right through mono line and braid, uh, especially when you're having a hard time with the braid. Well, you also got to remember, guys, I mean, these are $9 on Amazon. I'm not affiliated by any means, um, but I did want to actually look into having some custom uh, salty scales when done. Um, and if I can get the margins right, you'll probably see that soon. But I'm telling you, if you pick these up on Amazon, uh, man, they're awesome. Whoever designed those, they did a great job. One of my favorite, I mean, I, I find that I use them all the time. I don't want to keep harping on that. Um Anthony, I got you, buddy, with your rating. I'm putting you in the basket right now. Let me see who else it is so y'all know. Robert Womack, I got you. You're going into the basket right now. Hey, guys, I want to tell you, Josh had a freak out the other, the other night on the boat whenever uh, <laughs> he couldn't find his little snippers. He's like, have you seen my snippers? They were on the, my side. That's because Chris threw them in the water. They were. Big O, I threw you in the basket, buddy. I appreciate the rating. Well, um, well you cannot blame me. I didn't even see those snippers on your side or guys, I used them. I'm telling you what, guys. If y'all ever go fishing with Chris, just make sure you bring a lot of tackle and a lot of money because he likes to break all of my stuff and he throws everything in the water. No, I break my stuff constantly. <laughs> Lately. Um, Sergio, we definitely could do some more uh, rig videos. Make sure you're checking out my content, though, because I have quite a few. I've got like 400 videos, and a lot of them are rigs and techniques. And you can learn about every fishing knot on the that's ever been known on Josh's channel. <laughs> it's, it's getting close, huh? Uh, like the new okay. ones you come out with, the names, I don't even know. I'm like, I've never heard of this. People love knots, so I'm trying to go on what they want. Uh, let me see. Let's make it sure. So, yeah, guys, for you guys, um, I'm seeing some of you are leaving these on Trustpilot. Don't leave them on Trustpilot. Uh, make sure you're leaving them on the Google. There's a reason for my madness. Here's the link. Just click that link and put your rating on there. I appreciate it. Chris is not broke. Chris is a very wealthy little character. Don't let him fool you. Oh, my God. Here we go. But he wants everybody to believe he's broke. Uh, As a matter of fact, he hasn't bought me anything nice for uh, Christmas yet. Guys, he's already stressing me out. So back to something that I really think is nice, guys, that I came across are these fish monkey gloves. I'm actually thinking about making some of these for our, uh, salty scales as well, but I really like them. They're very comfortable. Um, they're a mixture of spandex. Let me see. I'll tell you exactly what they are. Where's the little thing at on here? All right, so they are 55% polyester, 23% spandex, and 22% nylon. But what's really nice is they're UPF 50. They come in different sizes, and they conform to your hand very nice, keep the sun off the back of your hands, and then they have a very nice texture grip on the bottom. 
you could get these on uh, Amazon or Fish Monkey's uh, website. So pretty cool. And they come with some neat little designs as well. There it is, Jeff, the monkey. Hey, all I know is all the professionals, when you see them out there for four days in a row for like 12-hour days, you see them all wearing those gloves. So there's a reason that they wear it. Uh, we are going to be fishing the mullet run next year. I promise you that. Matter of fact, I have that brand new rod and reel hanging up in my garage, expensive rod and reel that I haven't even used yet. So a matter of fact, I'm, I'm trying to coordinate something in January to get over to the East coast with Victor. And, uh, I got another trust pilot review. What's he like fishing for over there in January? Well, he says, uh, there's snook, you know, um, they're getting some nice flounders right now. Victor is, yeah, all that. uh, yeah. So actually some doormats really, really nice. So, all right, hang on. I got some more reviews coming in. So Ricky, I'm adding you to the, the box here. There's your name into the box. John Campbell, you are in the box brother. And by the way, guys, we're just going to do three little giveaways. One's probably going to be a shirt. The other two are going to be some Z-Man baits. So that's what you're going to be getting. Uh, Marcus, you're in the box, brother. Hey, Josh, Chauncer's taking a shot at you. He said, don't get that drone near the new rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not joking. That's dangerous, my man. Um, hey, I'll tell you, that's the first time that's ever happened. And it's a lesson learned, man. I, I busted up my very... A uh, good rod. Jessica, of course, you've been added, even though you did not say hi to me, uh, oh. which that's unacceptable. More shots fired, but he's going to add you anyways. There you go, nice Jessica. Huh. I don't know. You definitely, you know, I'm going to have to give you the holy shirt. Hey, Josh, while we're in here and we're talking about some products, guys, I've been trying to pressure Josh for like the past year and a half, maybe to get lanyards, like key lanyards. What, what do you guys think? Do you think we need to get some key lanyards so you can put your uh, keys to your truck or your car on, or any keys for that matter, even your boat keys? Well, you know, I will get lanyards eventually, guys, but there's a lot of cool things coming up. A matter of fact, let me show you. Uh, let me show you something one of my followers sent me, and I really want to get these. Let me let me go snag it, Chris. Talk to him for a minute. I'll be right back. Big O, Big O, how are you saw your gift from your wife? Tell us about that story. My connection's really delayed, so it kind of sucks on my end. You guys are typing, and I see the messages at least 15 to 20 seconds after you type them. Boomerang hook up to a lanyard. What are you talking about, Crash Dummy? Are you talking about like a manufacturer company that does uh, lanyards? I like the enthusiasm, guys. <laughs> I don't even know where Josh went. Where did he say he was? Oh, he was going to get um, something that one of his friends sent him. Hey, but seriously, I'm trying to get Josh to do lanyards, so you guys got to pressure him on lanyards. Blow up his email about lanyards, and he'll end up making them because that's just how it goes. All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I forgot. Hey, you're, you're going to be getting a lot of emails. I'm already getting a lot of emails, so I appreciate no, this. No, about lanyards. They're all going to email you saying they want lanyards. You would do something like that. That's what I told them to do. Oh, of course you did. Hey, so check out this, guys. What do you think about that? Ooh. That looks sharp. I see. Yeah. You guys want to see that, don't you, on the website? I'm actually going to probably implement that here soon. And it really came out good. And I appreciate Tim for sending those. He sent me three with three different designs, but I really, really like that one. That's awesome. It really is. Uh, let me check the reviews real quick. Sorry, guys. I want to make sure I'm getting you in uh, in live. Okay, some more came in. So let me let me throw them in here. Brett. Hey, I'm yeah. seeing that we got 50 people watching this video and we only got 16 likes. So make sure you go pound that thumbs up button on the YouTube video, guys. It's much appreciated. Brett, you're in the bucket. So as y'all can see, they're coming in. I mean, you got a very good chance, guys, I mean, to win something. So definitely uh, keep leaving those reviews. I haven't decided how long we're going to stay on. It just depends on how long y'all want to stay on. So it won't be too, too crazy, though. 
Um, so what, what's some other things, guys? Share what you think are essential tools of the trade or things that have really made your life that much easier out on the water. Yes. Hey, also, guys, we're going to have a uh, new hat designs coming out very soon. We got a new hat manufacturer, so the hat quality has gone up, and we're going to have some great designs coming out, so be looking out for those. Absolutely. Oh, big O, that, that stinks, buddy. You're really going to like the new shirts, brother. Um, a glow-in-the-dark Mako hoodie? Yeah, I don't know how we would do that yet, <laughs> but I have looked into some things that actually reflect. Um, so it's it's interesting that you you mentioned that, haven't we, Chris? Yeah, we found out the reflection uh, thing from an uh, interesting woman, but she gave us a hookup on some reflection. I don't know how the communication has gone throughout that, though, Josh. Yeah, is it something that is a poss a possibility in the future? It is a possibility, um, but we're going to look into some things. Evan, I use a Predator thirteen uh, by Old Town. Beautiful kayak. It's a tank, super stable, but it tracks well. And uh, I like the fact that I can stand up, especially me eating like I do on these holidays. I put on the pound. So it's got to, you know, hold a big boy. So, guys, I'm seeing that some people are having a hard time, I guess, with the link and it's bringing them to Trustpilot, Josh. These. That's. Uh, well, Trustpilot and Google are two separate things. But if you Google Salty Scales, um, if you look to the right hand side, the Google reviews will pop up. All you got to do is click that link and it'll allow you to leave the review. Wait, can you do it on computer? If, uh, cause on the phone, I know if you space it out, it won't pop up. I mean, okay. yeah, um, I'm not sure. On Google, it will. It's on the right hand side, guys. If you just Google salty scales. There you go. Big O, bungees. Absolutely. They are great. I agree. I use bungees all the time. Um, the hooks that I use for red Sergio are typically a 1 or 2 either Mustad circle hook or an owner circle hook. It's usually, or Gamagatsu. Those are the ones I like to use. Yep. Sunglasses, Ricky, on the water, man, they're essential. I'm a big fan of my Maui's, um, not sponsored by them, but I love the glass and I love the way they feel on me. You're right, Anthony. You said that as well. Hey, the, hey, uh, Darren said he took our order at Taco Bell the other day. Did we catch anything? Why didn't you say, hey, man? Uh, but, you, are, you weren't with us then, Chris, but oh. yeah, man. Hey, hey, welcome, Darren. You know did that Taco Bell? Something? Yeah, he did say something. There you go. All right, cool, cool, man. It's a small world. I try. I'm supposed to stay away from the Taco Bells, but I got caught red-handed. Oh my gosh, he's calling you out on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I know I gained in a few pounds. I ain't ashamed of it. I'll, I'll fix that here soon. Appreciate it, Brett, for the review. Yep, Rick. PC Fun Tackle Bag. Can't say enough good things about that. I've had that bag what three, four months now. No problems, and I've used it a lot, guys. I've hiked with it a lot. So I'm glad you like that, Rick, trying to put you guys uh, or steer you in the right direction. Hey, Dino, if you're on the phone, you don't space out the salty scales. Just type in salty scales or no spaces, and then it should pop right up. All right, I got another one on here, so let me see who it is. Uh, KH Fishing. All right, buddy, I'm adding you to the bin right now. Seriously, if you're having any problems, guys, finding it, just type in, like, I'll leave it in the chat how you should type it. Oops, not like that. Yeah, so I appreciate some of these reviews, guys. I want you all to know, uh, whatever I'm telling you about the products on the, on the YouTube channel, guys, it's not necessarily, um, I'm always trying to steer you in the direction where I think maybe a new product, maybe an innovative product, or maybe a product that's at the right price point. Um, which is a good value for your buck. So we're always trying to do that. New Year's resolution. Uh, we're actually going to be getting into retailers, a lot of retailers this year in 2019. And I would like to see us in at least 75 new retailers by the end of 2019. That's a New Year's resolution for you. I also need to lose a few pounds, but that's too cliche. I just, this is what happens. I'll, I'll lose weight. I'll get in shape and then I want to eat. So I just eat a bunch of food and then I do it again. Hey, Josh, give us a real New Year's resolution personally that you have. 
You probably haven't thought about it. I just said a New Year's resolution. No, that's too cliche. I'm going to get retailers. No, personally, not in business. We're talking about personal. Oh, uh, to lose a few pounds. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, come on. Tell Josh that you want to see a little bit liveliness, not just the business. James, you aren't going to believe it, man. I am literally editing the Phantom X video. Like I literally was doing that right before we went on live. You guys are going to be impressed with this new Phantom X, but you'll see it tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'll probably have it posted around 4 o'clock tomorrow. Really, really nice improvements, guys. I'm not even supposed to tell you this, but PC Fun how is now went into Daiwa's mill, and um, the products are going to be a lot different, especially the new ones. So I'm excited for them. Legend Tournament Inshore line of rods. Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, St. Croix, especially the Legend Tournament rods. I haven't found a rod that's really better in sensitivity or feel, in my opinion. Uh, one of my favorites. What's your input or uh, take on that, Chris? Hold on. Say that again, Josh. I'm sorry. I was reading the long comment here. Oh, this, um, this guy's asleep. Never mind. No, Cha no, Chauncer said that he f would feel bad for giving us a review without having to purchase the product. Uh, product. Well, Chauncer, go ahead and leave a review, and you can also just write that you watch the videos because Salty Scales isn't just uh, an apparel business. It's also a community. Exactly. So go ahead. I, I'm sorry, Josh. What were you saying? I was trying to think about what I was going to reply back to that. No, that's a very valid point, guys. If you've never purchased from us, that's fine. But hopefully we brought value to you in the sense of content, um, whether it be on Instagram, YouTube, if you feel that we have, I mean, you don't have to write a review, but if you feel that we brought that value to you, please do write the review. If you like the videos, uh, that's what you can put uh, in your, you know, your review. You don't have to necessarily put that you bought a shirt, especially we don't want any false reviews. So I know, I know tons of reviews on Facebook that we have where people just say, I love the videos. I love the content. I love the interaction and all stuff like that. So uh, we like to think of it as a big community guys. Big O, the girls are great, man. The family is good. Holy smokes. It's been a busy couple months. I'm tired. I'm really tired. Um, but they're growing like a weed and uh, love them to death. Cute as can be. Hey, I want to know, guys. Nobody knows this, Josh, but we were out on Black Friday. Not, not only was the business running on the computer, but we went to the mall on black friday and set up a booth in the mall at like 4 a.m and we were there well pretty much all day <laughs> that was a long that was a long event so we'll leave it at that brutal all right hang on i got another another review in here let me go ahead and write it up wilfredo mora i put you in here buddy right now let me, let me do that wilfredo Traveling fisherman said, uh, how's the fishing been? Uh, the fishing bit, I mean, we've been out a few times. I know Josh slayed him. What? Two. Yeah. Well, you slayed him on Thanksgiving morning, though. I mean, shoot, that was like a month's worth of fishing with how many fish you caught. Well, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I did some stories, which was the first time I've ever done that. I went out a couple hours on Thanksgiving and did some wade fishing. And, man, I caught 50 snook. I caught some massive redfish and I did a whole stories uh, line of things. I didn't have my camera with me, but I had my phone and it was pretty epic. But we also went out the other day at the power plant and did really good. Yeah. Hey, Marcus asked, what do we recommend for real cleaning? And I know Josh will absolutely tell you and me that the uh, cleanse oil is some really good stuff. Well, speaking of products, that is one of those products you need to add to your list, fellas uh, yes. and ladies. Uh, but that cleanse oil is amazing stuff. Hey, we put it, we even put it on our cameras, like the uh, the cameras we use to record out in the salt water. The salt water gets to them, but that cleanse oil really helps, you know, prevent that. Absolutely, absolutely, uh, Tony. Okay, so Tony's an EMT for fire rescue. Well, we appreciate your service very much, Tony. Um, we're, well, what we're doing is we're doing a a firefighter's design, a red line design right now, and it's it's epic. 
I hey, think it's going to be one of our favorite designs that we've ever done. Hey, they aren't ready for that design. That design is going to be crazy. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Hey, and possibly in a long sleeve and a short sleeve dropping on the same day. Yeah, Cage, it, that was more challenging than you even know. I was for sure that I was going to be uh, – my Note 8 was going swimming that morning. But uh, somehow, by the grace of God, it did not. That's awesome, Big O, man. We definitely appreciate their service out there. I know they, you know, firefighters, they do a lot. Not only fight the fire, but, I mean, the emergency services that they provide, it's amazing. Yeah, no doubt about that. I got to experience that firsthand. Uh, I don't know if any of, or if you've ever experienced, like, a fire or a house fire in your neighborhood, Josh. But my uh, net, across the street from us, caught on fire one morning and it was crazy. I had uh, a fire engine here and firefighters everywhere. So I appreciate, we appreciate their service. Well, Darian, I'm glad you agree with us with that cleanse oil, man. Uh, I'm telling you, I've sprayed some stuff. My trailer, a matter of fact, the leaf springs, I couldn't get that thing to stop squeaking. I mean, no matter what I did, I'm talking about my salty scales trailer. I douse that thing with some cleanse oil, me and Chris both. And that thing, it, it don't make a, a peep now. Nope, not at all. So pretty amazing. And I mean, I put all kinds of uh, product on on those leaf springs. All Maybe right. you can use that cleanse oil all over your boat too. If you guys have a boat, I would spray it all over uh, certain parts of your boat, especially, uh, you know, maybe your battery connections and stuff like that, that the salt might get to. Oh, no, that's true. You, I, I, I'm a big believer in that stuff, and it does help with any th anything that has rust. Let me uh, add a couple new names. Dino. Dino, I see you on here, Dino. Five stars. You're in the uh, basket here. It's good hey. seeing you, Dino. It's good seeing a lot of you, Dino, Big O. All of you guys, man. A lot it, seems of us. Like, it seems like it's been a long time. Because <laughs> it has been. But I'll tell you what, guys, so Facebook has reached out to us, and they've been wanting us to post our videos on Facebook as well. So we've been doing a lot of uploading to Facebook. Um, so that's been interesting. Hey, Deborah, we appreciate your uh, business. We appreciate that very much. By the way, guys, um, anything that you purchase from here on out is shipped priority. So we're going to do our very best to try to get it to you uh, before Christmas. No doubt about that. I, I think that if you order your product probably now in what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Josh, you should be able to at least receive it before Christmas. Right. And that's uh, the deadline that I usually say is like, um, I mean, the deadline for Christmas is like the 22nd. And yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, especially if you're local, you should receive it pretty soon. But if you're like out of state, out of Florida, then you're, you're pushing it if you're ordering later in the week. Right. Exactly. Um, so guys, what kind of content do you want to see in 2019? We're going to try to do some things. We want to cater to you guys, um, trying to figure out what in the world we got to do to get YouTube to show our audience our content. It's probably one of the most frustrating things that I, I come across on YouTube, but I'm not focused too much on it as of lately. Um, I'm just going to do content. I've always done it just because I enjoy it. Uh, and that's what I'm going to focus on. But what kind of content do you guys want? Silly Salmon? Chris is doing the Silly Salmon. <laughs> I, got a silly, I got a Silly Salmon video that you guys haven't even seen yet that I have to. I they haven't even seen that. Oh, my gosh. So they don't even know. Like, we can't even talk about that, Josh. Like, oh, man. Good. Uh, that's funny. Um, Big O, no, I need to get a kayak, man. I am poor right now. But we do. I do need to get a kayak so we can do some kayak fishing again. Um, Sergio, I'm sorry to hear that, Chaucer. Um, whenever you can, if you can, we appreciate it. But Sergio, you can find us on Facebook. Just type in Salty Scales. Or if you go to saltyscales.com, scroll all the way down. All of our social media is at the very bottom. Hey, Big O wants to see peppers, not with me, but with you. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, Matthew, a surf rod. Man, that mojo surf rod for the money, you're not going to beat that rod. Uh, besides me chopping it up with my drone, it's really good rod. Matter of fact, I chopped it up with my drone, and we still caught big old 40-inch snook and poons on it from the beach. Dude, you whacked like 
four four inches, like three or four inches off that rod. <laughs> I I did. I I definitely made it shorter. All right, Deborah, we have noted it, and we will make it happen. Uh, peppers with Chris is what Big O said, so I'm not sure what you're reading, Chris. You might want to get those glasses on. No, I want to see you eating pepper. All right. I see Anthony over here asking if I have a YouTube. I do need to post a video, Anthony. Oh man. Hey, crash. hey Anthony, Chris doesn't have a freaking YouTube, man. He, I don't know what that guy does, but y'all need to give him help because I can't get him to post. Oh my gosh. What is Sir Stromy? I don't even know if I want to Google that. That seems like one that's going to get you in trouble. So, Chris, go right ahead. Yeah, Mrs. Tyler sent me this the other day, and I was, I, I forgot to look it up. No, uh, I'm not eating that. It's a Bals, uh, Baltic sea herring that you have to eat, lightly salted. Well, it's you, you are burning. avoiding the question of why people are wanting to know where have you have been and why you aren't posting on YouTube. No, that's what you just asked, though. I do need to post, guys. I have been slacking. Uh, umbrella rigs and saltwater. Uh, not. I haven't really thought about it, but I guarantee you we could catch some trout, probably some redfish and snook on those. But uh, I don't know. Throwing those things around all day, they kind of wear you down. Okay. Traveling fishermen, we could do some of that uh, underwater footage. So let me check my reviews, guys. We're going to be doing that, at least one of the drawings, very soon. Matter of fact, let's say at 8.50, we're going to do our first uh, drawing. Hey, Josh, uh, yes. check, check your Google. I posted a link in there on the video. Check that out. There you go. You'll like that. Jose, Jose uh, Salas, buddy, we got you. You're going in the bucket right now. All right, we got quite, we get, we're getting a few people in here. All right, so there's still time, guys, 8.50. Uh, anyone who wants to do the review, you're welcome to do so, and we're going to get you uh, put in the bucket to hopefully win something. Anthony, we haven't been fishing enough to not catch fish, but it seems like when we have been going fishing that I haven't really been catching much. I mean, I guess Josh caught a couple by himself uh, recently, but we did. I did catch a shark the other day, if that counts as a fish. <laughs> Oh, pro player, I'm sorry to hear that. Man, that was a terrible hurricane, brother. And uh, I know you guys got a long way to build build everything and reestablish. So our prayers are with you for sure. Hey, pro player, you got four minutes until the first drawing. You got to go uh, leave Salty Scales a review on Google. Josh, you want to post that link uh, one last time before the first drawing? There you go. Deborah, all you got to do, uh, nothing extensive, guys. Just leave us a rating. And if you want to write something, you're welcome to do that. We really appreciate it. Here's the big long link. If you click that, hopefully it takes you to the reviews, allows you to leave the review. If not, you could Google it, Salty Scales Reviews, and it should pop up the Google reviews. Uh, the FG or W E not, I'm going to say, man, it's really hard. With the FG, and the larger diameters, I would probably go with the FG knot. But for smaller, the uni knot is the one I prefer. I just, I have better luck. I've had that FG knot one time come undone on very small diameter line. And I was actually really shocked when it happened. Uh, KH, I mean, I'll probably end up posting that shark picture sometime uh, soon, probably on my story. All right, guys, anyone who can't stay on, keep in mind, I'll post the winners down in the comment section. So if you can't stay on, come back, uh, check out this giveaway, the comment area, and you're going to see who the winners are. Yeah, I need to get offshore more. Over here, offshore fishing isn't the best. I mean, you've got to travel a long ways, and our regulations are so steep. But I would like to do more offshore fishing over on the East Coast. Yep, Tony, that's a great idea. Thank you for that suggestion. I uh, didn't even think about that. Go to Google Maps, and that will allow you to, to do it as well. Yeah, the uni knot, like I said, is one of my favorite, and I think it's a lot of people's favorite knot. It's just one of those knots that it, it won't let you down. If As long as you tie it right, do the due diligence, it's one of the best knots there is. Hey, Josh, you added Jose? I did. I did. Okay. Yes. Dino's in there. Dino's in there. All right. 
I'm just making sure I'm going over this. All right, Julius Gomez. I'm putting you in right now, brother. Hey, I appreciate all you guys doing this. So here you are, putting you in the basket. Hey, frightful crown. Appreciate it, man. All right, so anything else new, guys? Oh, pro player, I see you here. I'm putting you in right now. Hey, Dino's calling you out, Josh. He said on the last uh, live broadcast, you would be working on a bass decal. Did I say that? I can't remember, but he does. <laughs> and I, I, I'll tell you what, I work on a lot of things, Dino. And if Dino, I said, don't forget. I, I, there's a good chance I got you, Frightful. There's a good chance that uh, I did say that, and I do apologize. I'll have to add it to my list of things to do. But you got me going crazy here, Dino, because I just don't recall saying it. <laughs> um, Jeff Johns, we are all thankful, buddy. We are thankful for everyone who serves our country, military, EMS, uh, everybody, uh, our police force. Hey, two more jo came in, Josh. You got Pro Player and uh, Deborah Tyler. All right, I got Pro Player already in the basket. Um, all right, Deborah, appreciate it. I'm putting you in right now. All right, I think we're, I think we reached our time. All right, here you are. All right, you guys ready? Let's draw. See what we can get a couple winners here, and I'm going to throw in a decal also for each of you guys that that win. Um, if you want to rock that out on your vehicle, you're welcome to do that. Boat, cooler, whatever you want to do. So let me pull this up. All right. You guys ready? Drum roll. Hang on, we'll shake. We'll get a little shake. Do this all legit stuff. Hey, Chris is really getting into it. All right, I ain't gonna look. Hey, drum roll, man. You gotta get into it. You have got to be kidding me. Who won? Jessica. Hey. Come I don't on, even know that's fair, but she won. Come on, Jessica. Are you serious right now? She won. Oh, my goodness. Well, congratulations, Jessica. Let's see who else wins. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, Robert. That's a traveling fisherman. Where is it? Can y'all see that? Robert. There you go, Robert. <laughs> Wilfredo Mora. So, congratulations, guys. Do you like these style of giveaways? Would you like to see us do more on the live streams? Let us know. I appreciate all you guys that did take the time to go over there and write those. Um, it's definitely much appreciated, guys. Your support means a lot to us. And I'm sorry that all of you guys didn't win. But... Stay tuned. We're going to do a lot more because we do want to get back to you guys. Hey, uh, Jeff what? wants to see the uh, meet and greet, Josh. Yeah, I really – 2019, I do. we got to do a meet and greet. We do need to get a, a meet and greet going, guys. I really do. I'm serious. I, I've been meaning to do it. I want to do it. It's just – I swear, I don't know what where the time goes anymore. It's like – Running the business, trying to do a few charters, raising the babies, and uh, running the business. It's like, that's it. Then, of course, travel among all those other things. It's just like there's no time in the day anymore. Guys, this guy doesn't won't even get a laptop. I'm like, everywhere we travel, he's on his phone doing everything. And he's like, I wish I had a computer right now. And I'm like, get a laptop. Well, I can't stand laptops. And I can't edit off a laptop. Oh my gosh! Uh, Rio Grande Valley, where where is that, Tony? We definitely will, Sergio. I appreciate all you guys being a good sport. Um, wow, you coming down? You're already coming back, Robert. That's pretty pretty soon, brother. What do you 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 guys got work down here, or what are you doing? 
that's a big change. Florida to Alaska and Alaska back to Florida. Yeah, I thought that sounded familiar. Um, Tony, how far are you from Brownsville? And um, what is it? No, not Brownsville. Chris, help me out. Oh, you didn't go, did you? No, that was Vince. I know. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> do I always forget where exactly it's at. Dino, if we had bass decals, we would give them to you. Hey, we'll see you, Big O. Good night, man. Good night, Big O. Oh, what is that? And I cannot think of it. I was just down there and I was fishing. Uh, it's close to that, though. So I definitely want to get back, Tony. I plan on getting back. I have some retailers over in that region and a uh, really, really good time. I know she's a travel nurse, but I was just surprised to see you back that soon, uh, Robert. Hey, whatever happened with you and KK, Cass King? I don't ever see you posting about them no more. Pro player, see you, buddy. Hey, we'll see you, pro, uh, pro player. Yep, South Padre Island. That's where, where we were, my friend. Thank you. Goodness, I cannot remember that to save my life. Really had a good time down there, guys. Everybody was really nice. Uh, great hospitality. And uh, Joe with Hook, Line, and Sinker, if you guys are from Texas, uh, South Padre Island uh, area, really good guy. Go in and stop in. Uh, he's, like I said, a good guy. He's going to help you out. Hey, uh, everybody that's logging off of here, uh, Merry Christmas to you guys. We haven't said that enough. So Merry Christmas to you and your family if we don't get on live before uh, um, Christmas. Absolutely. Merry Christmas, guys. And, uh, you know, we definitely we missed you guys. I want to be on here more. I promise you that. Um, but I appreciate you guys all interacting tonight and uh, stopping in. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for tonight. We're going to get on again. Stay tuned to uh, tomorrow. I'm going to drop a video for the Phantom X, and I, I think it's a really good reel. You guys might even want to add it to the Christmas list before it's too late. And I got another item that I'm going to drop um, Wednesday that I think is really good as well that you might like. Um, so, well, all right, guys. Chris, you got any last final words? Oh, guys, thanks for joining. We appreciate all the support. Make sure if you do want any Salty Scales product, you order it within the next probably two to three days, probably more like two if you want it before Christmas. But Merry Christmas, guys, and uh, good night. Have a good night, guys.